Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Every one of us has a talent. And how we use this talent is really important. If we choose to use this talent in a healthy way, it results in a lot of beautiful things. For example, if you're a cook and you use your talents in making really good food that's tasty, maybe even healthy, and as you're making, you're preparing your food, you're putting your energy into it, into the food. This is your tone, comes from your soul. And it goes in there, and whoever eats the food is influenced by that. So when you are putting healthy energy into it, because you are living in a healthy way, it influences others. It influences healthiness. This is a beautiful thing. When you're a teacher, this concept is the same. You are teaching important information and you are able to learn how your participants learn. You're learning their learning style because we're all different and we all have different learning styles. So a really good teacher knows how to connect with the learning styles of others. And when that happens, the teacher is also learning. So a good teacher is also learning. Do you see the energy that's involved here? It's all healthy. A good teacher doesn't pat him or herself on the back. The teacher just does what they do. They teach because they love to. This concept, you see something where you're sending something out. Yeah, you're, you're using your talent in helping others. And then you're connecting with them by paying attention to them so that when they communicate to you, you listen. Like the cook. The cook is making some kind of food for the people. And then the cook watches how they eat and listens. And maybe they're going, And then one, maybe one person might say, Huh, tastes good, but it's a little bit too salty. So the cook is making notes. Aha, okay, add less salt next time. Another one will say, Yeah. If only there was some garlic in this dish, it would really taste good. So the cook is going, aha, uh -huh, okay, we'll try it with garlic next time. And maybe that oddball will say, well, if there was a banana in there, it would really be cool. And peanut butter too. <laughs> that would be my suggestion. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but the cook still listens. Yeah, the cook is listening to what the people are saying, how they're responding to the food that the cook made. You see, there's a two-way thing happening here. When you use your talent, you're using it for others, and then you listen to how they respond to it. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't. It's your choice. That's the beauty. You always have a choice. You can say, no, I think bananas and peanut butter are not a good thing. Uh, you go, go out of here. <laughs> David, you get out of here. <laughs> Don't come back to my restaurant anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> but still, you see what I mean? You are always active. You're listening. This is important when you're using your talent because this is part of communication. Natural law of generosity says that how you communicate, whatever that is, 
you're sending an energy out and it's coming back four times as strong. So communication, this includes the things you do, the things you say, how you do them, how you say them, because sometimes people will try to cook something really nice, but they're really angry. Yeah. Maybe they fell off the bed that morning and as they stood up, they bumped their toe on the corner of the bed. And when they took a shower, maybe when they were wrapping their head up with a towel, maybe, maybe their hand got caught in the towel. And so, hey, gee, not that bad. But, <laughs> but then they're really mad. Yeah. So they cook something and then you see that energy that's going into that food. It's not healthy. And people who eat that food, they might pick up on that. Do you see what I mean? Whatever your talent is, whether you're a doctor, teacher, a house cleaner, somebody who makes clothes, even a waitress, waiter, flight attendant, any job. I should say all jobs. Yeah? Don't put them on a level of this is a respectable job. This is, this is a, you know, so being a dishwasher, that's not a respectable job. Don't think like that. As long as the job is not hurting anybody, you do the best that you can, whatever it is. Even if, if you're a typist, do the best that you can. If you're a typist and you're good at it, do the best that you can. Whatever your talent is, you do it in a healthy way because it influences others in a healthy way. That's how it works. That's how nature works. That's how this energy works. Now think of those who are in positions of power. Politicians, doctors, lawyers, professors. People who are involved with helping a lot of people. Could be a famous musician. Maybe it's an author. People in those kind of positions. This same concept applies to them too. How do they do their work? If you do it in a healthy way, like I suggested, you're showing respect to those people that you're helping. When you live a healthy life, this is very powerful because when you live a healthy life and you use your talent, a part of you is going out to that person and it's influencing them. Like I said, it could be anything. Maybe it's the food that you cook. It's the music that you play. It's the books that you write. Whatever it is, when you are healthy, a part of you is going to these other people. This is your tchum. It's connected to your soul. When you live in a healthy way, it affects others in a healthy way. When you're a car mechanic, a dentist, dishwasher, it's all on the same level. Unfortunately, it's not on the same pay scale, but still... It is work. So no matter what it is you do, as long as it's not hurting anybody and it's not illegal, you do the best that you can in that job because it leads to something else. It always does. To get to a better situation, you have to make the most of the situation you're in right now. That's how it gets there. But what if you use your talent in an unhealthy way? To do that would mean that you are unhealthy. Because some people, they do things that normally would be good things. But in their personal private life, they're not healthy. And reality begins within. So, if they're unhealthy... It doesn't matter what they do. They're spreading their unhealthiness. 
So you look at some leaders, for example, I'm sure you've heard of things like this where a famous whatever uh, person was caught in a hotel room doing drugs or whatever. And yet this person is supposed to be a preacher. Every Sunday, he's preaching his religion. Do this, do that, because this way you get to heaven or whatever, better place. He says his message, the words are nice, but his tone is unhealthy. So what does that do to the message? It taints it. And people will become affected by that unhealthy energy too. So even when something looks nice, it could have an unhealthy effect because the person who sent it is unhealthy. So you see, having a talent means having responsibility. It means having respect. And since reality begins within, that means we have to respect ourselves first. We have to be responsible for ourselves first. That means living in a healthy way, taking care of ourselves as best as we can, physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, because those four connect to each other. And where they connect is the sacred center. This is your within. This is where your reality begins. And when you do this, your communication is healthy. And when you do your talent, whatever that is, that carries your healthy energy and influences others in a healthy way. But if you're unhealthy, it doesn't matter what you do. Even if it looks good on the surface, it still has your unhealthy energy because you're not taking care of yourself. You're not being responsible to yourself. You don't respect yourself. And so when you do your talent, it goes out there, and it's going to affect people in an unhealthy way, even if it looks like it's helpful things helpful acts, it's still going to affect people in an unhealthy way. Temporarily, it might look like it's good. It might work for a little while, but not long, because unhealthy energy cannot deceive forever. So we have a responsibility when we use our talents. Now think of famous people leaders, politicians, gurus, spiritual leaders, no matter what culture it is. In the news, there's always something or somebody who gets caught doing this, gets caught doing that, that things that are really unhealthy and show disrespect to others. Maybe they were caught abusing somebody. On the outside to the public, they display themselves as this great leader, this great whatever. But in their private world, it's the total opposite. That cannot stand. That's like building a house on a sandy foundation. It will not stand. It might try to in the beginning. It might look like it. But it will fall. That's natural law. People like that eventually will be exposed. They'll eventually be caught. Because trying to disguise unhealthiness as healthiness doesn't work. Healthiness is love. You cannot disguise love. Unhealthiness will always fail. Universe was built on love. Love includes learning from difficulty. Always have to remember that. Because learning from difficulty brings us wisdom 
and knowledge. These are not bad things. When you're going through a difficult time, try to make the best of it. If it makes you feel strong emotions, express those emotions without hurting anybody, anything, including yourself. Take a fast run. Take a fast walk. Take a vigorous swim. Do some housework. Help somebody that needs help with something that requires a lot of work to get that energy out. It helps people, plus that energy gets out, and now your heart and mind can talk to each other. That's when you start learning from things. This is really important. You see, difficulty is a part of love. And when we try our best to learn from it, make the best out of the situation, it became a teacher. And it's not a mistake. Only when we refuse to learn from difficulty is it a mistake. And we are the ones who make it a mistake because we refused to learn from it. We refused to make the best out of it. Keep going. You will get there. That's natural law too. You will get to a healthy place when you learn from your difficulties and make the best of them. That is a promise from the universe. So, use your talents in a healthy way. No matter what it is, use it in a healthy way. And that means living in a healthy way. Having peace inside of yourself. Striving for peace with your past. This is the way you know where to go. This is how you make your road in life. Use your talents in a healthy way. When you do that, you're showing respect to others and you're showing that you respect yourself because reality begins within. Always comes back to that. Reality begins within. And when you see somebody who has fallen, they've lived an unhealthy life, ended up abusing a lot of people and get caught in there, that's their path. That's their journey to have a great difficulty in front of them. You don't judge them because you have your life. You are only responsible for you. You can't save the world. Nobody can. But you can influence it in a healthy way. So pray for them that they will learn from their experience, no matter how disgusting it, it was, you still show compassion. You don't agree with them. You don't say that it was good because it was not good. But they are on a very difficult path. But they put themselves on that path because they knew what they were doing. They got to positions of power and they abused it. As soon as you do something where you think you have a control over others, that's the really big red flag. Unfortunately, a lot of people cross that boundary and they end up using their position of power for their own personal gratification, whatever that is. Next thing you know, there's mind games involved, there's controlling the mind, brainwashing. It's a sad situation. What they're displaying is lack of respect for all life. That includes everything. They don't respect anybody. They don't even respect themselves. This is not love. This is not natural but we don't judge them. Like I said, we don't judge them. We pray for them that they will learn from that situation and that they will be responsible for the consequences of their actions and make the best out of it as much as they can. Because we're all connected to each other. This is the reason why I'm saying this. We are all connected to each other. What happens to one of us affects all of us. 
and not just humans, plants, animals, the water, the air, the sky, the sun, the earth, everything, and everything inside each one of us, our minds, our bodies, our emotions, our soul. It's all connected. This is mitakuya oyasin. Everything is a relative. And it's all connected. I would like for you to think about this. Think of your talent. How are you living your life? And then live it in a healthy way. This is what we're here for. That's the way it is. This is the truth, everyone.
Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this video. I really, really appreciate it. And if you would like to send a special thanks in support of this channel, look at the bottom of this video where the title is, and right under that, where it says like, dislike, and share, right in that area, slide it towards the left, and you will see the symbols change, and then you will see a heart-shaped button that says thanks on it. If you would like to click on there to send your thanks of support, I would really appreciate it, as I really do enjoy making these videos and speaking with you and spending some time with you. So again, thank you very much for listening. To learn more about Lakota spirituality, I have written a book called Wichocha Otehike. This book also includes Lakota star knowledge information. All the videos that I make, which are about Lakota spirituality, Lakota star knowledge, and cultural information, are based on this book. This book costs 99 American dollars. This price includes the shipping cost as well as a tracking number. And to learn more about Lakota language, I have written a Lakota language book called Chante et Owoglake, Speaking from the Heart. And all my Lakota language videos are based on this book. This book costs 119 American dollars. This price includes the shipping cost as well as a tracking number. I also teach online and I give spiritual consultations as well. If you are interested in any of my services and products, you can send payment via PayPal to my email address, which is hechaka7 at yahoo.com. That's H-E-H-A-K-A, -A, the number 7, at yahoo.com. When you send your payment, please include your shipping address and your email address. Ho, oh, lila pilamaelo. Thank you very much. In the Lakota way, everything is circular. As a result, we do not have a word for goodbye in the Lakota language. And so instead we say until next time, which in Lakota is doksha ake. And I will catch you in the next video.